what's up guys it's chris j here with red rings tv and i'm bringing you uh, my first match i've ever played on modern warfare 3 and uh, i'm going to start off by using the uh i think it's the ump with rapid fire it's one of the preset classes number two and uh I, this is my first game ever i'm playing with some of my friends we're playing some domination on bootleg uh i have to say there are only a few maps that i really like in this game um Apart from that, this is actually going to be uh, a Road to Commander series. That's why I do, I'm doing all my matches. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyways, um, I'm going to get into a little bit of a first impressions video for you and uh, sort of like a game review. Anyways, so starting off, you can see that the graphics in this game are exactly like Modern Warfare 2. They haven't really been polished. Uh, they always look the exact same. The multiplayer, however, has a little bit of a twist to it, but it's not very good. It's not balanced and it still feels really odd. Um... It, it, you move a little slower and it feels a little bit more bulky but uh anyway so the kill streaks now are a little bit higher up but you can also get them from points now so it's not actually just like kill people and you get a kill streak you can still do that but you can destroy their equipment not like tactical insertions but like sam turrets or uh, mini turrets or anything really to do with uh, uh anything like a lethal kill streak or anything like that it gets you a point and uh, stuff like capturing the flags, uh, going to the domination points, and I believe blowing up the search and destroy bombs and demolition bombs get you a point. I'm not too sure about the bombs, though. Uh, I haven't really played too much search or demolition to know about it. But uh, that all gets you a point towards your kill streak. Now, what I find difficult about that, or stupid about that, is because... People can just go for the objective and get a whole bunch of kills. I mean, it, it doesn't help at all because people will camp even more now um just to just to get their kill streaks and it, it really does piss me off now uh talking about the kill streaks there are three different setups for the kill streaks there's a specialist a assault and the support so i'm going to tell you the three differences between the two uh between between all three so the first one is assault assault is the typical uh you have to get all your kills or uh, uh let's say points in one life and then uh, it goes towards your kill streak. If you die, your kill streak resets. Now, here's the thing with support. Support, uh, yes, it's support. Support is you get your. It's it's a combined kills. So if your kill streak is 12 and you need to get 12 kills, you don't have to get all the kills in one life. It just builds up until you can unlock that. Now there are two lethal kill streaks in that, I believe. There is the. Oh no, sorry. There should be three. The Osprey Gunner, which defends your care packages if someone goes up to try and take them, which is basically uh, a turret in the gun that just automatically shoots them there is the uh juggernaut which isn't really uh, a, it's not supposed to be a lethal kill streak but he does have a pistol and a riot shield and he's very very tough and he will kill you very easily and then there is the stealth bomber now that one is typical from modern warfare 2 it just goes across the sky and bombs everything in that certain line and uh third kill streak setup is the specialist and the specialist is not any lethal kill streaks at all what it is is you get to choose three different perks you'll unlock at the two four and six kill streak or the one three and five if you used hardened so and let's for, say for example uh you're going to be using the specialist class you get to pick one uh perk from each tier to add on top of the ones that you're already taking so let's say you have sleight of hand pro you could pick Sl uh scavenger pro to be the um the one that you unlock at two kills and then you could pick hardened which will make it so that it uh, uh make it easier to get your kill streaks uh and then you could pick that the other one to be uh let's say assassin pro and then you'll un unlock that at the three kill streak which is why you'd use hardened but it typically would be at the four kill streak and then you can also use um steady aim and then pick another one um so that one is actually a very good one i do have a very good gameplay of that one for coming to you soon so that'll be interesting um I am saying I'm a lot because I'm trying to think of a lot to say about this game. But anyways, that's something that I find pretty cool, but also very disturbing at the same time because I don't like the support class, uh, a support uh, kill streak setup because I I just don't like how anyone can get those kill streaks. It really does annoy me because there are a lot of EMPs. So that is why I like to use Assassin Pro because it prevents people from EMPing my things. So that's always good. Uh, well, not EMPing my uh, kill streaks, but EMPing my weapons. So because uh, I like to use uh, Red Dot side a lot. So that is also key. Um, there is also a little bit of a problem with the perk balancing. Um, let's say, uh, for example, okay, well, it's not really a problem. It's just there is one setup that I've liked to use a lot now, and I like to call it really overpowered. Um, I use Scavenger Pro, Assassin uh, Pro, and uh, 
uh, Steady Aim Pro. Now basically what that does is it makes it so I can hip fire from large amounts of distances and kill people so easily, as well as I won't be seen by any type of UAV. Uh, it's harder for them to, uh, they, oh, sorry, they won't be able to see me on the, U, uh, the sorry, what is it, the, uh, the minimap and uh, <laughs> scavenger pro so I won't run out of ammo. It is probably one of the cheapest class setups, especially if you use the uh, two perks um, proficiency and add the red dot and the silencer. It is so cheap because they can never find you. Now, the reason I like to use that class is because I am really pissed off with campers in this game. This game has a lot more campers than it did in any other Call of Duty that I've played. And so I, like, I don't like to be seen on the minimap because then they get to prepare themselves, hide in a corner, and get, wait for me to run by. So I have the silencer so that way if I kill someone, they can't hear me. Nobody can hear me. And then... Uh, they're unprepared. So that's why I like to do that. It breaks up the campers setup and it really helps you a lot in the game. Now, sorry, back to the review. So I've talked about how the kill streaks uh, work. I've talked about how the perks are. Uh, there is still death streaks, which piss me off. Death streaks in this game are pretty similar. There's uh, revenge, uh, some other ones, and then the two that, or sorry, th uh, yeah, it's two that piss me off are the. Uh, dead man's hand which is basically uh, last stand but instead of getting a gun you get a c4 and you get to choose when to blow up so it's kind of like martyrdom except you get to choose when to explode uh, for a certain period of time and then you just die uh, then there's final stand which still pisses me off but it's one that i use because let's face it it's probably one of the best and if you're against a team where that's happening you're gonna want to fuck them up so uh yeah that one does piss me off a lot and yeah that's basically the two uh death streaks that pissed me off they didn't really do anything with them um i i know i i mean infinity ward claims they listen to their community which they obviously don't sledgehammer didn't do anything different with this game they just follow activision's rule because activision is so good no they're not they're fucking terrible but anyways so the death streaks are still in this game so that's uh, a real bummer. So I've talked about basically most of the multiplayer. Now let's move on to the map sizes. Okay, so maps. They're all pretty much the exact same size. There's not really much difference in between them. They all have separate levels that I've noticed. And um, there's a lot of close quarters areas. So you're going to want to have steady aim on if you're using an SMG or an assault rifle. Because it will help you immensely. I can't tell you how often steady aim has saved my ass. But anyways... So the maps are all basically the same size. They're all very cluttered. They don't have any real uh, ap like appeal to them. Uh, they're not even really that fun. Um, there are a lot of issues with spawning. Now, spawning is interesting because I've had more people spawn behind me than I've ever had in any other Call of Duty game. The spawning needs to be fixed desperately. Now, on top of that, uh, on top of spawning, there they also need to fix the hit detection in this game because I swear I will shoot. I got I dead on. My my uh, uh, red dot sight will be dead on the guy. He won't be moving. I'll shoot him. And only three of the ten bullets that I shoot will register on him. Now, that pisses me off because this game is supposed to be the best multiplayer of the year. Now, that pisses me off because they they claim to be so good. Now, uh, they also need to fix um, the lag. The host connections in this game are terrible. They were absolutely shit. Anytime I get a really bad host, I end up doing terribly. And that's because what the lag makes up, f uh, sorry, the lag that they, the host receives ends up making the hitbox on you a lot bigger and the hitbox on him smaller. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. So they really need to fix those things that I'm telling you. Um, also, and the first week that I was playing this, I've noticed that um, my scores would reset because the, uh, apparently there's a Modern Warfare 3 server that wasn't registering that I was getting these points. So I had actually went up to level seven or level 65 and then I dropped back down to level 60 because that day they erased all my stats and then I lost everything. So their servers are absolutely crap. Um, they need to fix a whole bunch of stuff before they can claim this is a game of the year. This is, uh, they should have actually just sold this game for $30 and called it a map pack because that's basically all it is. Spec Ops is okay. It's not the best though. Uh, sorry, that's my, uh, 
Uh, that's my television. It accidentally turned out, but uh, Spec Ops is fun. It's not the best. I don't really like it. Campaign is okay. It's not the best. I don't really like it. But anyways, this game, all in all, I give about a six out of ten, and that's the best I'm gonna give it, and it's the best I'll always give it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was informative and helped you out. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later, and I love.